Good morning, everybody. No booba, no booba. You can't, you can't see the booba anymore, guys. I've, I have censored myself. <laughs> Finally, someone is here who is actually here for the content. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Mm hmm. We're gonna start with the filling first for the onigiri since I only have one cutting board. I wanna make sure that I use the cutting board for the raw meat last so we don't cross contaminate. So for today's onigiri, we're actually mixing a bunch of different flavors for our bento today. There's going to be a little bit of Chinese influences. There's going to be Japanese influences, of course, and there's gonna also be Korean influences. So we're going Asian bento. We're not doing Japanese bento, we're doing Asian bento. <laughs> so the Chinese aspect is going to be the actual filling for the onigiri. So onigiri is the Japanese word for rice balls. More commonly, in, especially in convenience stores, you're gonna find onigiri with stuffing inside. So sometimes it's like salmon, tuna, seaweed, uh, some kind of veggie. I don't know, it can be egg, it can be anything. But today, I kind of wanted to do like a Chinese influenced stuffing for onigiri. This Chinese name is called jia choi or Mandarin is called jia cai. So in English, it's a type of preserved uh, mustard root. It's really crunchy, it's salty, it's not sour. It's not pickled, so it's not sour. And then the other filling we're gonna mix it with is dried pork floss. In Cantonese, it's yok song. In Mandarin, it's rou song. So it's basically just lean pork that's kind of dehydrated and fluffed up and it's usually seasoned with like soy sauce and other flavorings and stuff. And then we're gonna cut them into little chunks. Did everyone turn into an emo boy right now because of the music? <laughs> okay, so that's done. And then we're gonna mix a little bit of the yolk song inside and then just give it a quick toss toss. That's the filling done. So Kai, Nemure Kai, has specifically requested I make taco wieners. So what taco wieners are is, um, taco is the Japanese word for uh, octopus. Like, you know, in the bento boxes or even in like regular meals, you see the little octopus sausage thing. That's the taco wiener. That's what we're gonna be making today. And they're actually really easy to, to make. Let me show you. You just get a regular hot dog and then you take a full one, you cut it in half. So once you have that, you're gonna make the legs. I like to make the head part the round part. Um, and then, so I'm gonna make the legs from the blunt end, the end that we just cut. I kinda wanna make my octopus have eight legs, I guess. So just estimate halfway up that length. We're gonna make one cut all the way through. Turn it 90 degrees. So we're gonna cut that halfway down again. So now that there's four pieces, now you can kind of see the legs are slowly forming. So it doesn't look like much right now, but the special thing or the unique thing about sausages is that if you put them in boiling water or if you fry them in a frying pan, because you've cut the little legs out already, they will naturally curl up like this once it's exposed to heat. My mom's giving me the stare down right now. Let's not look at her, guys. Okay, so that's done. Then we'll do the green beans. Okay, so this is gonna be the Korean component of our bento box. We're gonna boil these or parboil it so that it is cooked, cooked through. We're gonna rinse them in cold water to uh, stop the cooking process. And then we're gonna mix it with a gochujang and a miso paste. But traditionally, it's made with gochujang and Korean dobanjang. Uh, I'm taking a leap of faith here. Koreans out there, I'm sorry if I offended you, but. So for green beans, you'll notice that they have the tip. So I'm just grabbing the, the tip by a little bit and just snapping it off because we don't want to eat that. For me, I'm probably just going to break it in half. I think this length might be good enough. I will blanch the green beans now. So I'm going to turn the hot water on. They don't actually absorb that much salt. It takes, a, it takes a lot of effort to season the green beans thoroughly. So we're going to salt the water, but I'll also make the water boil quicker. Boil that for a little bit, drain it, I'm gonna rinse it in cold water to stop the cooking and then we can prep everything else later on. So the green beans are done. Beautiful green color, very, very vibrant. We're gonna be making rice on the stovetop like a good Japanese person, okay? See, we're gonna make tamagoyaki. Tamagoyaki is just basically a scrambled egg roll. So we're gonna use four. For tamagoyaki, it usually comes in two flavor, two, pla two flavor profiles. It's usually savory or sweet, but I do prefer leaning slightly onto the sweeter side. You can make tamagoyaki in a round pan, but the ends will turn out a little thinner and the middle will turn out thicker after you roll them because obviously there's the height, there's the, 
you know, math, okay guys, math, okay? If you wanna make like proper ones, uh, I recommend these. So in terms of seasoning, some dashi, I really like the umami flavor of um, dashi. So I'm just gonna do a pinch of dashi powder and to replicate the original dashi, which is actually soup, I'm going to add a little bit of water. Where's my water? So just add a little bit, a little bit of salt. So I'm gonna put in sugar. I like the sweet tamagoyaki, mix that all up. So in terms of heat, I like to do medium, low, medium heat. I usually just adjust as I go. Oil it. And once the oil is like moving like water, that's how you know it's hot enough. So you just do a thin layer first, make sure that everything is cooked through. Okay, and then you just grab it and then flip it. The first few flips don't have to be perfect because it's the first few flips is just the base. And make sure with every single layer, you get oil on the pan and also under the egg. Do another thin layer and then lift the egg up so the extra new egg can like get underneath to form a new smooth layer. Eh. Oh, eh, eh. Okay, there we go. One last roll. Huh. Yay. Oh shit, I just turned up the high for a second. So the reason I have this, so if you see like Japanese cooking shows or even in anime, you'll notice that sometimes a tamagoyaki has like ribbed decorations. Like there's grooves in it, it's not just flat. It's actually caused by the sushi mat. They usually like to cool their tamagoyaki in a sushi mat. They'll roll it where it's like a nice and neat, tight shape, and they'll set it there until it cools. So I'm just gonna wrap it. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna roll it up so the oil doesn't leak everywhere. We're gonna cook the rice. And then make sure you measure the water to your knuckle, like every Chinese mom has taught you before. Turn the heat on high, let the water boil. So once the water boils, put the lid on, turn the heat to the very lowest setting and steam that for 15 minutes. So for the salad, so I feel like this much. Gochujang will do this, this much? I don't know. The sauce is quite thick. We're going to thin it out with more seasoning. So we're gonna do some mirin. We're gonna add a little bit of sweetness. We are gonna add a little bit of rice vinegar as well. Just a little. We're not trying to make it like sour or whatever. We're just trying to spice it up a little bit. And then just mush it through. So we have white for the onigiri. We have red for the taco wiener. We have yellow for the katsu, which is later gonna be fried. So it's gonna be yellow. And we also have green. So we have a little bit of every single color in a bento. So the water is boiling. Throw your lid on. Turn the water to the lowest setting. Let me try it, see if it's good. Oh, oh, it's really good. Mm. It looks like it's drooling. I mean, it looks like drooling. It can look like other things too. So we're gonna do a standard dredge for the katsu. It's going to be flour, egg, panko, and then fry. This is the pork that I got. It's just pork loin, pork, pork chop meat, nothing, nothing fancy. So I'm gonna be cutting them into sizes good enough for a katsu. Just skewer it, that's it. Just be careful when you're pull, pushing it through that you wanna try to keep it equal distance. This looks good for, for on a skewer. Salt, pepper. Press it in with your hands. I will set this aside. Oh, the rice is done. Look at that, it's perfect, guys. I'm gonna put the rice on the side so that I can still continue using the stove. Get our pan. Uh, medium heat, oil it a little bit. You don't wanna burn your wieners. Oh, you can see it's kind of curling already. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna fish these out, put them to the side. I'm gonna make the katsu now. We want flour to help the egg stick onto the pork. And then once the egg is on, we put it in panko because the egg will help the panko stick onto the pork. So everything has a purpose. So we're gonna dab it, tap the excess off, and then I'm just gonna use a spoon this time. It's a lot easier if you're using a plate, but I ran out of plates. Once that's done, just shake off the excess a little bit and then put it in the panko. And this is your katsu. So we're gonna set this aside. We're gonna do the rest of them. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. We're not doing a deep fry, we're just doing a shallow fry. It saves a bit more on oil and also it's a little less messy. Ooh. Be careful when you drop it down, don't burn yourself. A few moments later. All right. Eventually. Let me take this out. Wow. We're gonna start doing the onigiri now. Normally you need some water for making onigiri because it will help the rice not stick to your hand. We're not gonna season the rice with salt anymore. It's just going to be um, rice wine vinegar and mirin. So just wet your hands, grab a bit of rice. 
I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna make a little well on the inside and then we're gonna do a little bit of stuffing. So make a nice little circle. Put it to the side. Oh, it's so cute, guys! Oh, it's so cute! Don't let me! I just amaze myself nonstop sometimes. I'm starting to wonder who the actual narcissist and Oni are. <laughs> uh, not me. Clearly, it's Pom Pom. And or Oni Bro, okay? It's definitely not me. Let's start plating, shall we? I'm gonna do salad first. For those who, who know already, you, you know, if you know, you know, you know. I, I have an Italian eight year old, I just realized. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's get our salad, okay? We're gonna put some wieners and then I'm gonna layer it with some tamagoyaki. Bentos are all about layering and just trying your best to stuff the shit out of it while still making it look cute. So the whole point of bentos is that it's supposed to be eaten cold. So don't worry about it like being to room temp and stuff. It's totally normal. I'm going to do this one so I can take a photo. We all, we all have to get that grand picture, right guys? Oh, oh no, Oni bro. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. I forgot to decorate your shit. Look at, look at that. 